hi guys welcome to dot that mob in this video we will learn how to create a login page in asp.net web application so let's get started let me create a fresh asp.net web application for that go to file then new and project select asp.net empty web application name your application here in my case i will name it as asp.net login page then select the location where you want to save the application then click on ok so here we have our brand new asp.net web application now let me add a web form for login page for that right click on the project then add web form name the web form as login click on ok so here we need to design our login page for that i will use a table tag inside that first row first row will be the row for entering username and each row consists of two columns one for label one for text box and let me open the toolbox and then i'm gonna drag one label and then one text box into the second column let me copy the row and pasting below that so i pasted the row two times so first row will be for entering username so first label will be user name then the text box id will be txt username and then second label will be password and corresponding text box will be txt password the last row will be used for uh, the login button in that case first column will be empty in the second column we need a button for login let me drag the button and its id will be btn login and text will be login finally i would like to add a row for displaying error when user and the incorrect uh, username or password so i will use a label to show the error message and its id will be lbl error message and text will be incorrect user credentials now i need to add a style for this table for that i can use style attribute equals margin as auto in order to center the table then i'm gonna add a border for this table 5px solid then white color and i need to add background color for the entire login page body background color as which let me switch to design mode login page design looks fine now but uh, we need to make this uh, label foreground color to red let me switch back to source for color equals uh, red that's it now i'm going to add a button click event for this button for that right click on it then go to properties then here you can see a lightning symbol click on it then double click on this uh, click so that it will create a button click even in the background so here is the button click event for the login button in order to work with a login and logout system we need to have a database with user table so let's create one user table now let me open my management studio here we have a database login db 
inside that we are going to create a new table for that right click on tables then click on table first column will be user id and data type will be int and then second column user name as work 50 then password will be uh, work 250 and then i'm gonna set this user id as the primary key for the table and in order to save the table you can use the shortcut control s or you can click on this save button here it will open a dialog box like this here you can enter the table name tbl user click on ok in order to see the newly created tables click on tables then click on this refresh button here you can see the newly created user table right click on it then edit top 20 rows now i am gonna add few uh, test rows into this table user id will be one then username as user one password will be one two three in order to save this rows press enter that's it now back to visual studio first of all we need to uh, use these uh, namespaces system.data.sql client and system.data in order to work with sql server database here we have our login form design during user authentication we will check is there any user with given username and password if there is a user with given username and password we will show him the uh, dashboard otherwise we will show this uh, incorrect user credential message so now let's do that first of all i will hide this error message during the page load so it can be done like this lbl error message dot visible equals false now inside this login button click when we will check whether the user name and password is valid or not for that you can do something like this using then sql connection an object of sql con is created new sql connection inside that we need to provide the connection string and it will be something like this data source equals local backward slash SQL E2012 then semicolon initial catalog equals DB name login DB then semicolon then integrated security to true then a semicolon then inside the uh, using block we will write the query string query equals select count one from tbl user were username equals at the rate username and password equals at the rate password that's it so here we have used parameterized uh, query if you are going to concatenate the direct uh, string from our uh, username and password text box there is a chance for uh, sql injection so i used parameterized query here and here i have uh, provided the connection string if you uh, found any problem or to follow this connection string i have done another video tutorial on how to connect sql database from c sharp i have put the video link in video description please go through that and next we are going to create an object of sql command sql cmd equals new sql command then first parameter will be the query query then uh, connection object sql con and that's it then we need to pass the uh, parameter uh, values for that parameters dot 
add with value then uh, we need to pass two parameter value one for username and one for password let me copy the parameter name from here and pasting here same for password and then here we need to pass the txt uh, username text finally i will use the trim function we use a uh, trim function to avoid uh, white, white spaces from both sides of the string same in the case of uh, password instead of username we use txt password that's it and I'm gonna declare a variable count equals convert to in32 inside that I will execute this uh, SQL command SQL command dot execute Scala So here inside this count variable we will get the number of users with given username and password. If count is equal to 1 it means there is a user with given username and password. So user authentication is successful. So we can check like this if count equal to 1 user is valid. So we will save the user details inside session session with key username equals txt username dot text dot trim so session is a dictionary inside asp.net web application we can use these sessions to store values session is created to each logged in users so each user has separate session Finally, we will show him the dashboard page for that we can call the function response dot redirect As a parameter we need to pass the page name dashboard dot spx Now we need to create a page for dashboard for that right click on the application then add web form name your form as dashboard then click on ok so we have created our dashboard page now back to login page if count not equal to one we will show him the error message lbl error message dot visible equal true now we have created a login page in our asp.net web application now let me run the application for that click on this start button here now let me try to log in with a incorrect username and password ASD and password ASD uh, actually we need to make this text box as uh, or as dots for that we can change the design like this go to source then uh, text mode equals password now let me try to log in click on this login button here there is a error in our connection string we need to change that into integrated security integrated security so here we need to uh, open the sql connection sql con dot open let me run the application again let me post incorrect password and username finally it shows the uh, incorrect user credentials now let me try to log in with the correct username and password so it will be user1 password will be 123 click on this login button so now it shows the dashboard uh, page now inside this dashboard page i will implement logout button for that back to visual studio then this is our dashboard page 
let me drag one label then a line break for that I will put a break here then a button this label will be named as LBL user details text will be empty then I will name this button as BTN log out with text logout let me switch to design mode right click on this logout button then properties click on events double click on this click and then inside the page load event we will uh, set the user details in our label like this user name equals so we have saved the uh, session here that inside this key we have saved the user details or user name and we will retrieve that here you can do that like this let me copy the session so inside this session we will have the uh, logged in user name and in the button click event in order to uh, log out a user we just need to call the function session dot abandon it will clear all the session values and then we will redirect the user to uh, login page Now let me run the application again. Username will be user1, password123. Click on this login button. Now we are in dashboard. Here you can see the logged in user details, username as user1. If you click on this logout button, we will be logged out from the website let me click on this now we log out from our application now we have to do one more thing now I actually am logged out if I want to open the uh, dashboard page you can directly type the URL here dashboard.aspx it will open the um, uh, dashboard page without any error you can see that there is no user logged in and in order to avoid this we can do something like this back to visual studio then inside the dashboard page stopping the application here we need to check whether user is logged in or not for that we can use the session session if there is a value inside this username it means there is a user if it is null it means there is no user so we will redirect the uh, user to a login page response dot redirect redirect to login dot aspx let me run the application again I'm trying to open the dashboard page for that I will type the direct URL here and uh, so here you can see that we are redirected back to login page that's it guys in this video we have discussed how to create login page in ASP.NET with SQL Server database we have discussed all the aspects of the topic so finally we have a complete login and logout system in ASP.NET application you can download this project with SQL Server script from the link given below in video description that's for today please be subscribed to my channel .net mob for more awesome videos like this please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye